Welcome, Monster in the Closet, a 1986 horror comedy from Troma Entertainment. Yes, Troma Entertainment. With a cool cast, entertaining premise, and some of that cast members showing up include Howard Duff, John Carradine, and a very young Paul Walker. Yes, that Paul Walker. Also, a very young Stacy Ferguson. Fergie, from that Black Eyed Pea place band. Yeah, that's what it is. But, well, as a little girl who, well, sh she doesn't make it. But anyway, spoilers! Let's begin with the opening of this. Very nice opening. I really enjoy the idea of, obviously, there's a monster in the closet. People being lured in, pulled in, and stuff tossing about, and you hear him screaming the death. Blah, blah, blah. Argo, blargo, clargo, blargo. All right, let's get into this. Wow. We meet our hero, Clark Kent. Hmm. Although he goes by Richard Clark. Dick Clark? Huh. And he has to report and find out about these murders. Then we meet Paul Walker. He's a weird kid, and his name is The Professor. Guess this is prequel story before he, you know, goes on Gilligan's Island. Meh. <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate! So on his way, talk with the sheriff from the police and find out about this stuff. Again, we meet him. We also meet Professor Diane Bennett, the mother of our young Professor Bennett. Meow. Have you ever heard of an ultrasonic energy augmenter? I have. He thinks it's some kind of a snake that's doing the murder. What if it was this snake? Damn, that guy spits a lot. We get a nice shower scene. Ooh la la. And we get the same fake scare joke three times. So you get to see these three times. He just wanted to see his waifu's boobies in the shower. After meeting Diane, we also meet... He's silly. The, the, the wacky one here. <laughs> Dr. Pennyworth, played by Henry Gibson, in a wacky, I love this character way. Now we get dinner with them, and also the priest, played by Howard Duff, Father Finnegan, and we learn some interesting stuff about God, roaches being one of God's creatures. Fuck that! We get a frog story, and now the... Uh, what? Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> this is where the head tilting fascination reaction begins. <laughs> Word gets out that they're, the killer is in this bill and the cops are all there ready to blow him up and then, oh shit, the killer appears. It's a monster and a cool one in my opinion. Very different. <laughs> Holy shit, the fuck was that? The monster runs off and our heroes go on the search. Yeah. Ah, here we meet the General Franklin. Hope he's better at getting monsters than he is with aliens. Frog story again. Well, when I was a young boy, I, I once found a frog. Excuse me, gentlemen, but we are wasting time here. We the guy's a loser. I mean, he's the laughing stock of the whole paper. Thank you very much for all this valuable information, Mr. Johnson. Aw, oh, poor guy. But don't worry. That other guy is a dick. You'll win her over in the end. I'm sure of it. So, uh, now that they're all being chummy and we're getting close and close with each other and the romance... Ah, that stare again. Ah, he gets her wet. <laughs> During this, when the professor, the little professor, remember, the, the little boy is the professor. Stay with me. The doc hears a sound, a tune, and somehow comes to the conclusion to use that to find, lure out the monster. He plays the tune on the xylophone. Ah, wacky Dr. Pennyworth. They go around playing to find him, house to house, street to street. Pretty nice they can just go in that house like that. Ah! Nah, it's just a dick scare. Ugh. Ah, just a military. Ugh. Damn it! <laughs> Meanwhile, oh no, it's after the professor. Oh damn, so cool. Ah, penis monster thing out of his mouth. This is the part where the doctor tries the reason with it. They communicated. They communicated. But remember, we communicated. Could you understand it? No. Now is the time for the military to step in. They have it all planned out. They got everything to blow up, destroy this creature. Everything but the kitchen sink. Surely they'll hit, right? Not even a mark on the beast. Oh, what do you expect? It is the military, after all. In films. You know how bad people are with aim. A doctor, before he dies, rest in peace, Dr. Pennyworth, you were a wacky guy. He tells him only one thing can stop it. We must destroy all. Then he dies. Tell me about the frogs, George. And then he dies. It's obvious what he was going to say, but it's not figured out until another 18 minutes in the film. So during all that, we get... 
damn it again! That guy has some effect on women, I tells ya. At least on her. Uh, anyway, instead, they figure, kill its energy with electricity. They build a cool electro door device thingy to trap and fry it. Didn't work. Damn, they really like using that penis ton. Holy shit, it's a female monster! It takes Kent in its arms and runs off with him, even making the news. Then we get news of hope to all the world. Dan tells the world what they need to do. Destroy all closets in the world. Da! The doy! And so, all over the world, they do. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is handsome here. And so after all this, it finally can't go on anymore. It dies on him. He gets a kiss and that stare again. And of course, I called it. I mean, another one that's obvious. It wasn't the closet. It was beauty that killed the beast. Oh, boy. And that's the end of the movie, Monster in a Closet. In typical trauma fashion, it was out there weird and interesting monsters and everything, and some wacky, quirky scenarios, characters, and story. It was a fun film, a neat creature idea with its world jumping through closets. I like that use and that angle of that with the killer monster in the closet. It's very nice. Lots of funny and great characters. Pretty memorable, I would say, for the most part. The creature, it was creative. You could tell they were enjoying the insanity. The monster look pretty good and i love that our boy kevin peter hall was the one in the suit i had a hunch no one did big alien monster creatures better than him rest in peace my friend start to end totally fun would recommend check them out whatever flaws it had it was overshadowed by all the entertaining scenes and casts etc well that's it go check out monster in the closet from trauma more trauma stuff on the way sure there's some bad eggs but sometimes they're bad they're good and this is one of those ones where it all just kind of worked out and was actually a well done movie i would say later Mwah!